Last time we studied these questions. Miss what happened when Muslims innovate a new thing in Islam? Okay, now internet is stored. What happens when Muslims innovate a new thing in Islam? According to Hadith 188 of Miskatul Masbah, Allah removes a sunnah from them whenever they innovate a new thing in Islam. Okay, the word is Masabe, Miskatul Masabe. What about those who learn the book of Allah and follow it? According to Hadith 190 of Mishkatul Masabe, Allah will guide them away from errors of the people or from misleading on the world, and Allah will save him from rigorous reckoning of resurrection. Can you follow or emulate a great religious person, for example, Mufti Menk, to live your daily life? According to Hadith 193, is no, we can only follow or emulate the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companions to live our daily life. Can we follow any good things from all religious books like Bible, Torah? Um, according to Hadith 194, no, we cannot. So we have only Quran and Hadith for our guidance. Nobody else, no other book. Uh, today the book is Sunan Abi Daud. Read this Hadith. We already read this one. Uh, do you remember which uh, uh, these we read in the Sunan Abidaw last time? Can you check your notes? Book is Sunan Abidaw. This one. Start. Miss Hoor, do you hear us? Yes. Read this. Ibn Abbas reported the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, saying a woman without a husband has more right to her person than her guardian and a virgin's permission must be asked, her permission being her silence. These are the words of Al-Qanabi. So basically this means the lady who is either a widow or either divorced. She does not need any permission from anyone. She has more right to her self. Does a widow or divorced divorced lady need any permission 
permission what happened permission from guardians Guardians for her marriage. <clears throat> so the question is, does a widow or a divorced lady need any permission from guardian? for her marriage in the answer you will write according to hadith 2098 she does not need any permission she can make the decision independently I will repeat the answer mm, according to her needs 2098 she does not need permission. She can make the decision of her marriage independently. Repeat the question and the answer. Does a widow or divorced lady need any permission from guardians for her marriage? According to Hadith 2098 Sunan Nabi Dawood, she does not need any permission. She can make the decision of her marriage independently. Next thing in this Hadith is about the virgin girls. So did we have already written this question, but many parents force Dear daughter, so we will write this question again. What shall the parents do before marrying their daughter? And answer you already know. We must ask her permission. According to this 2098 of Sunnah Nabi Daud, they must ask her permission. Repeat the question and the answer. What shall the parents do before marrying their daughter? According to Hadith 2098, they must ask her for permission. Now there is another harsh reality of our life. On average, Muslim ladies have around 2.5 children. This is the average, as far as I know. This is the average figure of a number of children for Muslims. So let's suppose a lady has three children. And <clears throat> let's suppose her age is around 33 years. Okay. 
What is the age of lady? Are you here or you have disconnected? Yes, the lady is 33. Hmm. So she has three children. Now her husband has died at this age. So this means she became widow at the age of 33. <clears throat> At the time of Prophet وسلم, it whenever any lady was widow or divorced, when her idda period was completed, she used to receive marriage proposal and she used to get married. There were hardly any single widow lady or single divorced lady at that time. Prophet وسلم, encouraged everyone to marry such ladies and so it was quite easy to get married at that time but in present era no man marries a lady who has children this is the fact this is a harsh reality although it, it is a not a good thing but any lady who has children nobody marry her they give her donations or charity, but nobody marry such a lady. Now let's suppose this lady has a good job. She does not need any money. She has a job. But this is also a fact that she needs marriage more than a virgin lady. So what shall she do in this situation? Do you have any idea? Who has a job? The widow has a job. She does not need any money, but she needs a husband. She will she will look she will look for a husband. But this is a fact of this era that whenever we tell any man to marry a widow, they just excuse because of the children. Nobody accepts a lady who has children. So what shall she do now? I don't know. In this case, there is a, for example, this lady has a job, very good job. She does not need any money. Only thing she needs, a husband. So, in this case, she can herself send a marriage proposal to a suitable person that she thinks that person is suitable for him. And she can also excuse him about her rights. What are her rights? Her rights is a uh, uh, residence, monthly expenditures. So men usually don't marry such lady because of these things. They know that she cannot have more children in this era. It is not possible for her to give him more children. Then nobody marries her when she will excuse her rights, basic rights like residence expenditure, then probably it will get easier for her to get marriage. And also other ladies, for example, you, let's suppose you uh, see any such lady, then it will be good for you if you encourage your husband to marry such a lady. Okay, so she has this option. She can send a marriage proposal herself to a man and she can also tell him that she will not demand any residence, any expenditure, any monthly expenses from him. Just she needs a husband and he can become her husband. She will herself fulfill all her expenses and her children's expenses. She will not take. And second thing is your duty that whenever you see any such lady you should encourage your husband to marry such a lady okay okay so what will you do in this situation like when you will see a widow lady 
issue who is I will... yes i will ask my husband to marry the lady yes you will ask your husband to marry her Okay, let the students Abhi Hassan. Um, Muhammad. The above tradition has been transmitted by Abdul, Abdullah bin Al Fadl through his chain of narrators and with different meaning. The version goes, a woman without a husband has more right to her, past, to her person than her guardian and the father of a virgin should ask her permission about herself. Abu Dawood, the word her father is not guarded. guarded. Mm. So both questions are repeated in this language. They have already written them. Next student, Miss Hall, read this one. Narrated Abdullah bin Abdullah ibn Abbas, the Prophet وسلم, said, A guardian has no concern with, the, with a woman previously married and has no husband and an orphan girl virgin must be consulted, her silence being her acceptance. Both questions are repeated in this hadith. Muhammad. Hansa, daughter of Hidam al Ansari, reports that when her father married her when she had previously been married and she disapproved of that, she went to Messenger of Allah sallallahu and mentioned to him, He, the Prophet, revoked her marriage. Mm -hmm. So, last time we probably studied this. Question for a virgin girl, and this time it is a lady who is previously married. So we we'll write the question here. What can a lady do? If her parents marry her with someone, or marry her against her will, we can guide. What can a lady do if her parents arrange her marriage? Arrange her marriage against her will. What can a lady do if her parents arrange her marriage against her will? Can you tell me the answer? We have already studied it. Anyone? Yeah, you said uh, that the. the the he will go to the judge the judge will give her two options option yeah. one to keep the marriage and option two to cancel mm. so if he chooses the second option she does not need any divorce the judge will mark as or mark her marriage cancel whether her husband is present or not he will just cancel the marriage because in this case the husband was not present. Prophet ﷺ himself revoked the marriage. So this marriage has no value. Now read this one. Narrated Abu Huraira, Abu Hind, kept the Prophet ﷺ in the middle of his head. The Prophet ﷺ said, Banu Bayada marry Abu Hind to your daughter and has and ask him to marry his daughter to you. 
he said, the best thing, the best thing by which you treat yourself is cupping. So basically, he was a good person. That's why Prophet recommended people to do this. <clears throat> then we have another thing that is about cupping. So these are these encouragers for cupping as well. Cupping, do you know what is cupping? Yes, hijama. Yes, hijama, correct. Miss Ho, read the next one. This is quite a long this. So basically, this is one of those things which happens, which was quite a frequent in the pre-Islamic period of Jahiliya. No need to study it. It is long on this. This is also about that which was common in the pre-Islamic period of Jahiliya. Okay, Mr. Hul. Abu Salma said, I asked Aisha, uh, Aisha about the door oh, given yeah. by the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She said it was 12 Yukiya and a uh, Nashash. I asked what is Nashash. She said it is half and you can yeah. Half and okay. So this is Dover. Here the word is Dover used. You can also call it Mahar. Do you know what is Mahar? Yes or no? Yes, it's the dowry. When you're married, the, the husband, the man gives you. Mm -hmm. So, how much? Or we can say, what is the recommended? Or we can say, what is the sunnah? amount of mahar what is the sunna amount of mahar so in the answer you will write women can decide the amount or you can say what worth of mahar the woman can decide the worth of mahar but the best is equal to price of 1.37 kilogram silver the best is equivalent, anything equivalent to 1.37 kilogram of silver. So let's suppose one of you is in, I think, UK and the other lady is in Pakistan. So we'll check the price of for both countries. Price of silver in UK. So here we see silver price per gram is 0 0.61 pound. So calculator. Uh, what is the price? 0 0.61. So 0 0.61 multiply. 1375 grams so it is 839 pounds in your country okay 
usually how much the ladies ask in your country no the 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 parent just tell the uh, the man you give us anything which you have you, you can yeah the best is this that they don't put any extra burden on the husband they just ask according to whatever he can afford <clears throat> easily but husband himself should try to give at least 839 pounds to her to his wife now let's see what is the price in pakistan the silver rate stand at 282 for 10 grams Two hundred fourteen per one gram. So two hundred fourteen. Two hundred fourteen multiplied thirteen seventy five. It is this amount in Pakistan. So husband should try around <clears throat> two hundred ninety four thousand Pakistani rupees. <clears throat> okay so that's all for today if anybody has any question they can ask me I just wanted to ask you nowadays marriage people do like 7 days 8 days but um, the sunnah way is it only the nikah only that's it yes let me give you a practical example uh, tell me, repeat the name of your son. Ahmed. Ahmed. Have you seen any lady for her? Or you think will be suitable for him? Not. Let's suppose you think Sarah is suitable for him. So the best way is that you should arrange a nikah between them as soon as possible okay let's suppose nikah is done on 20 december 2023 after five years they think it is time for marriage this is i am telling you the sunnah way okay what was happening at the time of prophet after five oh, years, okay. Ahmed thinks he's ready for marriage. He can afford Sara easily. So Ahmed will go to the Sara house, house of Sara, along with some person, maybe his sisters or his mother or some close people. Now, usually you can say around nine person maximum, very little person. Okay, no big gathering. They will go to the house of Sara. <clears throat> there they may have a meal, a short meal. And family of Sara will also not invite any other. There will be hardly any 9 or 10 person at the house of Sara. Then they will take Sara to the house of Ahmad. And some ladies, maybe the sisters of Sara, maybe friends of Sarah will come al uh, along with Sarah. So they will bring Sarah to the house of Ahmad. Then they will start staying together and then everyone will go to back to his house. Did you understand the whole process? Yes. Repeat the whole process of Islamic marriage. First, they will do nikah. Hmm. Nikah should be done then as soon as possible. No delay. Then? Oh. <laughs> then after five years, when Ahmed now five is... Five years is just an example, okay? To, um, it can be one year. Or maybe like one, one month or... Two months. Yes, it can be anything. Depending on their situation. It is just an example. 
And then yeah, when Ahmed now is ready, mm -hmm. then he will go with his like very close family to Sarah's house. Yes. And who will come back with Sarah? Who will come and with... Ahmed will, will come back with Sarah. And who will house. come to leave Sarah at the house of Ahmed? Ahmed will, will stay with Sarah. No, no. The sisters of Sarah or maybe some friends of Sarah will come also. Okay? Yeah. Okay. They will come at the house of Ahmed all, along with Sarah to say her farewell or goodbye. Okay? Okay. okay. Now, now everyone will go back to their house. They will consummate the marriage. And next day, Ahmed will arrange a walima. Okay. So as if uh, like I have Ahmed is my son. Yeah. The lima has to be done. Yeah. It's it's a sunnah or something. Yes, sunnah. Okay. And in walima, just try two things. First thing, invite as many as people as you can afford. Okay. Look at your budget. Okay. If you can invite 10 people, invite 10 people. If you can invite 1,000 people, invite 1,000 people. Okay? It depends on your budget. But you need to invite someone to Vilima. Try to arrange Vilima at every cost. Okay? For example, what is your budget at the moment? 10 people, 100 people, 1,000 people, 50 people. How much you can invite? To the Valima. 500. 500. So invite 500 for to the Valima. Second thing, invite some poor people in the Valima. Okay. Let's suppose you are inviting 500. So look which of your friends, which of the Muslims in your community are poor. Try to invite them to your Valima. But if maybe I'm in London, can I do Lima at my like my country and my Hassan is here. Oh, I have to do Lima where my son is. It is up to your choice, wherever you feel better. So you can do Lima at any place. Prophet ﷺ did Lima in Medina. Prophet ﷺ did Lima on the way when he was traveling. So it is your choice, wherever you do Lima, it is your choice. Okay. Okay, thank you. No, I need more. Thanks. Thanks.